If you enjoy a leisurely stroll down memory lane, then a stop at the Nostalgia Station Toy and Train Museum in Versailles is a must. Located in a former 1911 L&N railroad station, this old train depot is filled with a dazzling array of antique model trains and vintage toy collectibles. You can discover a wealth of toy history here, thanks to the current owners, who share a love of all things locomotive. This husband and wife duo purchased the restored train depot to not only offer the public a museum opportunity, but also to house their private collections, which is over 40 years in the making. I'm talking with Winfrey and Wanda Atkins. They're co-owners of Nostalgia Station Toy and Train Museum. Welcome to Kentucky Collectibles. Thank you. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. I love stepping foot in this museum because it is just packed with history in every nook and cranny. Talk to me about your first experience with collecting trains. Well, I started out when I was two years old. Uh, my father decided that we should have a train and he was in Cincinnati and he purchased an American Flyer S gauge train for me and it actually was used and this was uh, about 1946, I would have to say, 46, 47 and that was uh, the beginning of my passion for collecting toy trains and it's never lit up. And you usually do the guided tours, yes. I know, and you probably hear a lot of really interesting stories as you walk around with people. It's amazing. Uh, I think one of the most amazing stories, we had this fellow come in and we had a passenger set. He looked at it and then he went on around and he came back and he looked at it. And finally I said, sir, I can't help but notice you keep coming back to this same train. And he said, oh, I was just remembering when I was a little boy. I had this friend who had one just like it. I said, well, what was your friend's name? And when he told me, I said, now what would you say if I told you that that was the train you and your friend played with when you were little boys? And you could see the tears well up in his eyes like, I can't believe it. We're all about nostalgia here. <laughs> There's no shortage of railroad memorabilia as every inch of this 1,600 square foot facility is packed. A walk down these aisles is sure to conjure up plenty of fond childhood memories of trains or introduce you to some new ones. They have multiple types, models, and manufacturers for a great cross-section of one of America's favorite hobbies. So Winfrey, I know this may be a difficult question. You have trains all over, but do you have any favorite ones or maybe ones that are more memorable to you? Uh, one is a 1917 Lionel military train, which is an armored locomotive and two baggage cars. And that was Lionel's first attempt at making a, an army type train. It dates from 1917 and it's very rare and it's in pretty much its original condition. And then I purchased uh, a couple of years ago a uh, Whedon Dart. It's a live steam locomotive. You pour alcohol in the burner, light it on fire, and it builds up live steam, and it runs just like a real steam locomotive. It dates to 1889. It has its original circle of wooden track with metal rails on it. So it was uh, quite a treat to find that intact. And it's probably operational. I haven't tried to fire it up yet. Well, are those some of your oldest collectibles? I would imagine they are. Well, the Weed and Dart is the oldest collectible. What do you think the value would be on some of those? It's hard to say. The Weed and Dart uh, is probably over $1,000. You probably have it from a different perspective, being the history buff. Tell me about some of your favorites. We have a pastel colored girls train that Lionel made in 1957 that's very rare. There were only a few made because that was really not a girl's toy. They're difficult to find and uh, I think that was the first piece in our collection that I kind of brokered the buy <laughs> and was a little nervous about it and it took a year from the time I started the purchase until it actually transpired because 
the dealer didn't know when he would have another one and what condition it would be in and that sort of thing. Well, I'm excited to take a tour. Do you think you could show me around? Absolutely. On a tour here, you can't help but notice their most unique exhibit, which is a real Lionel dealer display from Purcell's department store, once located on Main Street in Lexington. They also have a complete Disney Lionel train with special edition cars. The set's valued at about two and a half thousand dollars. The passion this couple has for antique trains and vintage toys is contagious. The collections are impressive and the stories they share are priceless. You don't have to be a train enthusiast to enter the Nostalgia Station Toy and Train Museum, but chances are good you just may leave as one.